You guys are always asking me where and how to get mods in Microsoft Flight Sim. So I'm not even gonna do an intro. I'm just gonna show you the absolute easiest way to do it. Let's go. So the very first thing we're gonna do is go to flightsim.to, then go up in your search bar and I want you to search community folder. This will give you a mod right here. It says, get your community folder location. Click on this. All it's gonna do is tell you exactly where your community folder is, which is the folder inside of Flight Sim where you have to put the mod. You're gonna download this. There'll be a little countdown. Click start download. Once that downloads, open it, of course. And something else that will help you a lot for Flight Sim mods in general is some kind of software that can unzip or extract all different types of files for you. Now, if you don't have this installed, you can still do mods. What I use is BreeZip. You can feel free to look that up on Google and download that as well. Now, if you don't have software to extract the file, that's okay. As long as it's a zip file, your computer can do that by itself. Windows 10 can do that. All you're going to do is right click and then it's going to say extract all. This is just an image I pulled up just as an example. But as long as it's just a zip file, you'll be able to do that either way. Now you're going to go ahead and extract it just like this. And then it'll give you a file that you can finally open. And then finally, this window will pop up and it'll tell you exactly where your computer community folder is. So as you can see, it's in my C drive, users, Aaron, app data, local packages. It's a whole long thing. But if you want to make this even easier, you're going to press Y. Mine can't do it because one already exists. But once you have typed Y and press enter, it will make a desktop link for your community folder. This makes it so much easier than any of this. You don't have to go into your files and find where it actually is. It'll make a desktop location for it. Once it's on your desktop, it will look like this FS 2020 community. At least that's what mine looks like. If yours is different, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. It's just another icon on your desktop. Now, once you've done that, I want you to go back to flightsim.to. And if you want planes, which I assume most of you just want planes, the easiest way to find only planes, because there's tons of stuff on this website. There's scenery, there's everything you can think of. If you just want the planes, you're going to go to other, and then you're going to click all aircraft or military, general aviation, whatever you want. And then now you have all these planes at your disposal. As long as they don't say premium product, they're completely free, which is quite awesome. So I will give you guys a little example of how you actually do this. You're going to go find one you like. This is the um, Bombardier Global 6000. I used to have this, but I lost all my mods, so I'm going to reinstall it. Click download now. The same little countdown will show up. Click start download, of course. And I'll put a link to all these things down below so you can do the exact same thing as me if you just want to follow along in this video. You're going to open the file. You're going to click extract. And then here is your file. This is the file we're going to have to input into community folder. So this is what we're going to do. We have our file here open. You're going to click on it. Right click, copy, click copy. You're going to find your community folder. Mine is right here. I'm going to right click on community folder and click paste. See, it inputs the files there and that's it. Make sure your SIM is closed when you do this. If your SIM is open, it's not gonna show up right away. You're not gonna be able to find it. Now we're gonna open the SIM and I'll show you where that plane is and then that'll be it. And you can do these mods regardless of if you have the SIM on Steam or on the Xbox store. The only thing you're limited by is if you're on console, you can't do mods, unfortunately. Now let's go straight into our plane. And since I have so many, we're just gonna search 6,000 and there it is. There is the global 6,000 downloaded into our SIM. Very easily. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If this helped you, also let me know in the comments. A like on the video would help a lot and I appreciate you guys so much and I hope that the whole process was easy for you. I'll see you next time.